cryptocurrency functions just like money in terms of, uh, let's say I'm to leave the U.S. and I go to London. Uh, I come out of the U.S. market, <clears throat> excuse me, and I go to London, I will have to use the pound, the British pound, because many people don't take U.S. In, 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 in London. But if I'm to move from London and I go to Amsterdam, I'm faced with another challenge. The pound is not really something they accept in Amsterdam. So currency functions in a community. And right now what is happening with cryptocurrency, we are getting the opportunity to function in a global platform where there are no borders with regards to cryptocurrency. What people are doing now, they are taking their fiat currency, their present currency, whether it's yen, pound, pesos, or it doesn't matter what it is, and they are putting it into the crypto space where it's accepted as a global form of exchange. So let's say I am in Bonaire and I decide to purchase some bitcoins or DAG coins. I'm just using a cryptocurrency here. And I go into another country that accepts that as a form of payment. It's normal. I have no foreign exchange to do. I don't lose money in the process because the challenge with foreign exchange right now in the world is not just a local problem. Is every time I change my currency into another currency, I lose money because I have fees. So if I do that three, four times in four different countries, like I've done before, travel to four different countries, I always have to be changing my currency in one trip. With cryptocurrency, however, we have the opportunity to use one currency in every part of the world. No, it's not like that yet. We are getting there. But once, once you buy into a cryptocurrency that's global, you now have the opportunity to use it wherever it is accepted in that community. And at this point in time, we are building global communities. Um, Mr. Anderson, I would like to give you the opportunity to um, invite people to where they can find more information about um, cryptocurrency and um, what kind of um, advice could you give the people who aren't familiar with this um, system? Okay, well, I think what we are doing right now, we are giving people general information, but I would specifically direct you to dagcoin.org. Dag, D-A-G, coin. Coin.org. You can go to that website, read on the website as to that specific cryptocurrency. Of course, online there's a lot of information about cryptocurrency floating around. But more importantly, I think you can connect with our local people in Bonaire because we have local leaders. We have uh, like Mr. Edger Hart, very interesting, successful businessman on the island. We also have Mr. Laika Stacia, I think it is. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce the, the last name. I'm not too good with the last names. But the reality is you can connect with them on the island. We have a local office here in Bonaire, and you can get the information from them.